One of the core recipes of pastry making is the pastry cream. The pastry cream is a custard that's really thick and is used for all kinds of different recipes in pastry. You can use it to fill cupcakes. You can use it to um, in eclairs. You can use it in cakes. You can put it in donuts. Donut. All kinds of danishes you can use pastry cream. So we need to learn how to make a really good one so we can use the recipe across the board when we're making pastry. Today, we're gonna to use the all clad prep and cook, but we can do the same exact process on the stove. This just makes it easier because we don't have to do all the stirring. So join me as we make homemade pastry cream. So I started with um, the Epicurean. Um, this is Ranhofer's book from 120 years ago. I wanted to start with a classic French recipe. Um, I did have a little bit of difficulties with the recipe in this book because he didn't give exact amounts for a lot of things. Plus he didn't put butter at the end, which is typically done in recipes these days to make it, um, you know, to smooth it out a little bit and give it a little gloss. Um, also, I, I needed to adjust it for our modern realities. I'm using the prep and cook. And this is basically a cooker that um, is kind of like a food processor in that it has a chopper, but it also has a stirring blade. It does soups, it does all kinds of stuff. And it is fantastic for sauce making. Because this kind of sauce, you have to sit there and stir and stir and stir and stir and stir. And I don't want to do that, right? While it's heating. Yeah, while it's heating. And um, this automatically does that for you. So if, you're, if you don't have a prep and cook, you don't have a cooking chef, you don't have a KitchenAid has one of those heating bowls that goes on a KitchenAid. Um, you can use it on one of the KitchenAid multi-cookers with the stir towers. If you don't have anything like that, you can use the same exact process in a saucepan. The only difference for me of doing in here is it's just stirring it for me. But if you don't have one of these, just get out a medium-sized saucepan and you can do this exact same recipe in that. So we are going to take bits of um, the chef's a recipe. We're going to bring in some of the stuff that I want in the pastry cream from my own um, ideas. We're going to make a fantastic pastry cream that we're ultimately going to be using on a stacked strawberry shortcake. So um, this recipe is fantastic. Eric just spooned it. Basically, it's a custard. It's like a pudding, right? He sat up there and just spooned it. So it's a great recipe. Um, I can vote. It's very decadent, okay? It's yeah. very rich. When she reads off the ingredients, you will see why. You will see why. Um, so let's get busy. So we have the all clad prep and cook. Like I said, you can just use a saucepan on your stove or cooktop. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the lid off here. And I have this little like stirring whippy looking thing in here. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put two cups of whole milk. Whole milk, right? No skim milk, whole milk. And we're going to use some vanilla. Now, I know people who are familiar with pastry cream say that you should use a vanilla bean. Unfortunately, in my area, one vanilla bean right now is $10. So I am cho choosing to use real pure vanilla. What's great about this vanilla is it tends to have a bean in it, so you do get a little bit of the uh, little seeds in there, a little bit, unlike cheaper vanillas. So just make sure if you're going to use vanilla to get a high quality pure vanilla and make sure it's like real vanilla. Um, you can use a vanilla bean paste, which is basically a cooked down version of vanilla. So this is vanilla bean paste. And I got a little on my finger. Um, it's like, it resembles sort of like maple syrup. I personally would not purchase this brand. Um, that's the brand right there. 
I have used this and it does not have even the vanilla flavor that pure vanilla extract has. So if you could get some vanilla bean paste um, by a high quality vanilla producer, that would be great. But this is what vanilla bean paste is. And yeah, it basically looks like that. It's like vanilla, but it's like cooked down, but it has a lot more of the seeds in it. So this would probably, if you got a good quality one of these, um, it probably would be better than vanilla. But that's what we're using here today, because I'm not spending 10 bucks a bean. <laughs> that would make this recipe way too expensive in my book. So we're going to be infusing the milk with the vanilla flavor first. We're going to be heating the milk. You want the milk like just below the boiling point. You definitely don't want to boil it, but you just want hot milk. So we're scalding it. Not scalding it. Scalding's you I don't know. <laughs> You're giving me phrases, boo. I don't know what it is. So uh, you put your finger in it and it burns. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the sauce setting. I'm going to adjust the temperature to 200. I'm going to adjust the time. This is only going to take maybe four minutes or so. Depends on how cold your uh, milk is. This only goes to five minutes is the lowest. I'm going to drop the speed down maybe to a five. And we're going to go ahead and let this milk heat. So I have a quarter pound of sugar. This is basically four ounces. You definitely want to get a scale if you're going to start baking get a scale, right? I have five egg yolks. And just for my preference, I remove the little, um, I don't know what it's called, a chalin or something like that. It's this little thing. I still have one left in there. Um, this is what holds the egg yolk and suspends it in the egg and keeps the egg from bouncing around, the yolk from bouncing around too much and getting damaged. Um, inside the egg. That's all that is, but you kind of want to remove that. It can result in it not being as smooth. So we're going to put those five egg yolks in with this sugar. We're going to go ahead and stir this up, break those yolks up. Get the sugar to starting to dissolve. Then we're going to put in an ounce of cornstarch. Now, if you want this super, super thick, you can put an ounce and a half. If you want this more of a creme anglaise, this is basically um, pastry cream and creme anglaise is basically a thickness spectrum. Creme anglaise is a thin sauce that you would spread on, uh, pour on something as opposed to something more pudding-like in a pastry cream, you might want to drop this down to a half an ounce. That would give you like a thin sauce. This is going to be a fairly thick sauce. So you can go anywhere from like half an ounce for a thin sauce to one and a half ounce if you want it super thick. We are going one ounce. I want to get this cornstarch to melt in here. As soon as the um, milk is heated, we'll be back. Okay, so the milk is definitely hot. So we're going to take our um, little egg, cornstarch, and sugar mixture here. And we're going to pour that into our prep and cook. And you, if you have a... Um, Saucepan, you're just going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to heat the milk with the vanilla to infuse it and get you some nice hot milk in there. And now we got our egg mixture going in. So if you're doing this on the stove, you want to stir constantly. <laughs> We're going to put our thing here, same temp, same time, speed 5, 200 degrees. I took the lid off so we can get some of the extra moisture out of there, and it's only going to take maybe three minutes. Um, you just have to judge. So we'll be back in a couple minutes and see how thick it is. 
So it's been running for about maybe three and a half minutes. Um, I did raise the, te the speed up to six and it's looking really, really nice. Um, that is the prep and cook, right? Perfect filling. So let me get this out of here. So I have our uh, paddle here. Get some of this excess off of here. We need to get every single little. Well, you don't have to get. You don't have to get that much off, Boo Boo. Yeah, because you want you want the beater. I have something. <laughs> and um, let's see. So this is our pastry cream, guys. Looks beautiful. Looks perfect. Look at that. Um, you can do it to your thickness. So if you want it thinner, uh, don't put quite as much cornstarch. We are going to be using this on a filling for a strawberry shortcake, a, a layered strawberry shortcake that has uh, uh, layers of sponge cake and layers of pastry cream and more sponge cake and strawberries and whipped cream. Mm. And to finish this off, we're going to put a couple tablespoons of butter in here. This is going to give us a nice, shiny, and rich, well, it's already rich, but it'll thin it out a little bit and give us kind of a shiny texture to it. So we're just going to stir this in. You want to take this off the heat when you're doing this on a, um, in a saucepan. So, so far I'm putting three tablespoons of uh, butter in there. This looks amazing. We're perfectly ready for our pastry. So, we want to let this cool a little bit. And when it does that, we're going to put a piece of plastic wrap on here and put the plastic wrap down on the surface of the pastry cream. This keeps the skin from forming and we're going to put it in the refrigerator then to so it completely cools down and it'll be ready for our recipe. Wow, this looks amazing. You want to take a little little taste, boo? That's why, that's, that's, that's why we uh, protect our lips with... It's hot. Mm. <laughs> Creamy and delicious, huh? Yeah, it is. It's like a custard. It's really rich tasting. So it is very decadent. So, yes. so unfortunately, I can't have it because of the dairy. <laughs> so bore for me. <laughs> so this is a batch that I made yesterday, and it's been in the refrigerator overnight. Like I said, I put saran wrap down onto the surface of the pastry cream so it wouldn't um, get a skin. Ooh, and here's our pastry cream. This one's a little thinner than the other one. The other one's a little thicker. I may have just put a little bit more cornstarch in it. So if you want this more of a sauce, like this, versus, here's the one we just made. It's a little thicker. This one's perfect for our um, strawberry shortcake. So, cooks, pastry cream is at the core of a lot of different recipes that you're going to make. Eclairs, filled cakes, filled cupcakes, between layers of cakes. You can even make pies out of this. This could be your pie filling. You can put bananas on it, make banana cream pie, all that fun stuff. So once you learn how to make pastry cream, you're ready to go with tons of different pastry recipes. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe below and give me a comment and a like, and don't forget to hit that bell notification down there so you will learn of our uploads and you can join our journey to become better cooks. Also, um, visit me on my website at www.amylearnstocook.com. You can get all my recipes out on that website, including this pastry cream. It is printable and, uh, all that fun stuff. You can also visit me on social media, on Facebook, in my group, facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook, and on 
uh, Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook, and also on Instagram at Cooking with Amy. So try this recipe out. You can do it on the cooktop and um, you will love it.